Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Hotspot Layout Tool. This is a tool that I personally haven't used, but I may start using it. Um, so I've been kind of playing with it just a little bit, and I wanted to at least show you guys what it does at least and, and how you can kind of start working with it, right? All right. So basically what it does is it allows you to create a texture and that texture has certain elements within the texture. So for instance, if you had knobs or doors or windows or concrete with like edges and things like that, you can kind of bake that into your texture and then use one simple texture to kind of build out your mesh. And I may not be explaining it properly because I'm still learning myself, but I did want to at least show you how to use the tool that Umaler has for it. There's lots of game companies that are really already using this and it's super new to me when I learned about it and I was like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. And so knowing that Umaler has this function built in um, is, is pretty cool. So let's take a look at it and, and how it actually works. All right. So the first thing you may want to do is go ahead and create a Umaler object in your scene. So I'm going to go ahead and just create um, a simple cube, just like so. All right, great. So we have our cube here. And what I'm going to do is select this cube. And inside of our tools area, you want to go over to surface. And all the way to the right, you see the hotspot layout tool. So go ahead and click that. Now below here, you have different um, options here. The main ones of focus is going to be like the auto hotspot. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then you have the hotspot layout. And so we're going to have to create a hotspot layout to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click new hotspot layout. We're going to save it somewhere. I'm just going to do it here. And it's going to open up a window. And this is where we're going to create our layout. Now, in my case, I have a texture here and that layout is going to be based on your texture that you created. Now, I've seen some places where you may just have a texture like a color texture or you may actually base it on the normal map that you created. So it just depends. I've seen some of the Umaler videos that use the normal map for the layout of this. So I'm going to go ahead and create or select this texture and we're going to create a layout using some of these tools. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of my screen. All right. So the first thing you want to do is um, on the right side, you have the shapes and then you have the quick transform. So what I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool. And what I want to do is basically lay out each shape here. Now you can actually have it follow a grid but I already know that mine doesn't really do a good job of following these grids very well. But if you created chores to a certain grid increment, then that would line up very well. So that's something to keep in mind. But for me, what I'm going to do is just hit none and I'm just going to kind of like freestyle it here. So this may take a little while. I'm going to try to be quick about it. I'm going to eyeball it all. So basically, I'm going to try to make sure that my edges are in between each face here like so. All right. And I'm not going to speed up the video. I'm just going to go ahead and and just kind of do this on the fly just to kind of give you maybe a sense of how long something like this will take. All right. So I'm just going to keep going and all I'm doing is just lining these things up using this square uh, rectangle tool. Now, if you were to do this and you want it to line these up as closely as possible, at the very top, you do have these options here. You have the UV tool, which is basically you can select an edge and you can either move it this way or move it this way. Right. And so if we want it to kind of get this closer to the edge. We can just kind of start moving things in place if it's really, really off. Right. So I'm just going to kind of just leave it like so, and I'll go back to my uh, rectangle tool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off just like that. I'm going to select here, kind of eyeballing it, center it there, maybe centered about there. 
and then I'll do the same thing here and keep it going just like so and then I'm gonna do this one here now the one above we're not gonna use a rectangle tool now we could if that was what you wanted but if not what I'm gonna do is select this right angle triangle tool what you would do is select in the corner click and you go to the opposite corner and it should give you a pretty good accurate right to the center if you move any other way depending on what you're working with you can kind of create different shapes but in this case I kept it pretty simple and I'm just gonna kind of center it just like so and then I'm gonna go back the other way great just like that and I can do the same thing for this corner if I want so I just go all the way to the about right there And it would probably be easier if I would have had my squares there. But that's fine. And then I'll just go ahead and click and do this like so. All right. Now, if you want to delete something, you can go to the face tool. You can select it and you can just hit delete just like that. And because I want to go back, I want to now select this corner, go to this corner and do that. Select here and then go to this corner and we're good to go. All right. So what we've done is went ahead and created a hotspot layout for this particular texture. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and move that over to the side. And actually what I'll do is go ahead and close it. And with my object, I'm going to select this object. And down here where it says apply hotspot, we can apply the hotspot. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and drop this texture on this object so you can see what's going on. So you see, this is pretty much what you would expect if you just put a texture on, a, on your material and apply it to an object. And if we were to stretch it, it would, well, it would normally do that, but we have something called auto on. So I'm going to go select this and you see auto hotspot. And so now what we're doing is applying it. And so now that we applied it, it's taking the form of this here. So now when I move it and I select this, as you can see, it's changing based on the hotspot layout that we created. Now to kind of see it, you can select UV and then open UV editor. And I'm going to go ahead and put this, let's say I'm going to put this in here and I'll just go ahead and move this like so. And so now we can kind of see what's going on. So as we kind of change this, it's kind of adapting right to what we're doing. So I want to just keep building. So if I want to say, bring this up some and bring this over. I'm going to extrude out just like so. That's kind of cool. Maybe that's not what I'm looking for. Maybe I want something more like this. And then maybe I want to extrude in. So it's kind of creating that. And then I want to kind of extrude out. It's pretty cool, right? And you can continue to do so much with this. So for instance, say this side is, say we want something here. We can take all the cool tools that Umaler has and we can say something like this and then I'm going to take this multiply tool and just pop it down just like so just like that so that's kind of cool right but we don't see any changes yet I'm going to confirm that and so what I'm going to do now is just take this and select all that and I'm just going to extrude that out and you can kind of see what's going on with it and so what I'll do is go ahead and select everything and I'm going to select the hotspot layout. I'm going to apply that. So it kind of updates and we can just continue to model this way kind of based on what is needed. And so I find this to be a very, very useful thing so far. Um, you can just continue to do all types of things like this. 
as you can see, take this and apply it so it update it. And so there you go. And so now you can kind of take this and move it in. And so now you have this. So yeah, there's a lot of cool options here that you can do. Um, I find it, I do find this actually super useful. Um, and you can just continue to build um, all types of objects depending on your t your uh, actual you know your actual texture that you're using now I'll create another texture so for instance that was one we kind of started from scratch but for instance say if you're just kind of here and you're ready to do something else I'm gonna create a cylinder and I'm just gonna put this cylinder like so and I'm just gonna bring it up like that and so we don't have the layout on it or anything I'm just gonna go ahead and model from this let me go ahead and span it a little bit bring it over and uh, I'll bring this down a little bit so I'm gonna use some of the amazing tools that this uh, that you modeler has I'm gonna bring this out and if I hit confirm with my bridges edges we got that there I'm gonna select the center and I'm just extrude there bring it up here extrude here just like so that's kind of cool and then maybe I want to Kind of bring this out like so it's kind of cool right and uh, what else do I want to do maybe I want to create something in here and take it even another step do I want to curve these I don't know if I need to curve these I'm not sure how that's going to play out but uh, let's just leave it like that and see how it goes, right? All right, so say we made this here and just because I wanna, I like modeling with this tool so much, I'm just gonna go ahead and create something else and uh, extrude that completely out and do that. Cool. All right, so say, I don't know what this is, but say it's something. All right, so we want to apply the same layout that we use for that one, for this one. So I'm going to select the hotspot layout. I'm going to select the layout that we created. So there we go. And then we're going to apply that layout. So now that is applied to it. But here's the thing, we need the texture on it. So there we go. And let me just go ahead and apply that layout. And there we go. That is actually very, very cool. And so yeah, it applied it, it UV'd it, it's taken on a pretty interesting shape. And what's even more amazing, if we wanted to, we can continue to add to this. If you do something like that, let's see what's going on. Auto hotspot, I wanna apply that to it. And there it is, it's all set and ready to go. Yeah, it's very cool, I really like this uh, here. If you wanna even go in, you can, kind of go in it still is doing the business uh, it's pretty amazing and so you can just imagine if you did some amazing textures and did some really cool stuff what you can create with this without too much UVing from scratch right all right well that's pretty much it for this video I didn't want to go too deep into it I'm still learning it but it's it's always fun to kind of show some of these things and, and show what it's doing and how it kind of works. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll answer it the best I can, but go to the Umaler uh, Discord. I'm sure they'll be able to answer the questions as well. Um, you can come over to my Discord and hang out with me and show off what you guys are doing. But other than that, um, I'll see you guys in the next video.